So all this is the flaring tool that I have. Um, it has instructions on the back of it. How to use the flaring tool. So if I open up my case here, I have a little bag of fittings, which I'll show you. And it has the clamp. That's where you hold your line into. And this is what crimps the fitting, or the crimps the tip of it to make the flare. And all these little fittings here are made for uh, different size lines. And the one that I've been using been using on mine is the one that says 3 sixteenths on the tip here. A little later I'm going to be talking about the bottom ridge of this fitting here. And what I'm referring to is this very bottom ridge right here. And that's how far you need to push the line through, which I'll show later. So there's a fitting for each one of these sizes. And I'm going to be using the 3 16 which is this hole right here. I'm out here working on one-eyed willy and just got my brake line off of there, the one that was leaking. It took a lot of hacking away and digging out of the mud and everything just to find it. This is the original fitting that was on the line and both ends are the same on this one. One end goes to uh, the master cylinder and the other one goes to the proportioning valve. And unfortunately when you buy replacement lines, uh, for the 3 16 line that this is, that is the size fitting that they have on the tips of them. So in order to get these fittings off, I have to cut the flare off the tip here using, using my pipe cutter. It's a little hard to hang on to. Just turn it, tighten it, turn it, tighten it. Turn it, tighten it, and one more, and there. What you end up with is a rough edge on this tip here. There's a bit of a burring going on on the inside of it, so I'm going to have to clean that off and a little bit of burring around the outside and I'll have to clean that off as well. I'm turning it around and I was trying to get that little burr off of the edge of this here. And then I went ahead and I flattened this tip out here so that this was nice and flat and then that there's no grooving inside the hole there. And this is the piece that goes on my flaring tool. Fits right into the into the end there. Now this is a 3 16 pipe, so I need the fitting that says 3 16. Okay, so once you once this is all cleaned up and everything, then just take the fittings and the tag and slide them off the end. Save them for if you need them for another line. So, don't forget to put your fittings on first before making a flare. This one goes on with the threads facing to that end. And this one goes on with the threads facing to the other end. my 3 16 tip. Make sure it 
make sure that it fits in that hole. And on my tool here it says 3 sixteenths is where the hole is supposed to be. The hole that you use. So I just loosen up the wing nuts. Side with the numbers goes up, and this come and the line comes up through the bottom. Now, you push your line through flaring tool with a number on top, where it says three sixteenths, and then you use the tip that says three sixteenths, and you push this through as far as what the height of, is of the bottom bottom ridge of that tip and that's close there so tighten your screws down and then just check it again after you get the screws in Looks good. So, make sure they're good, good and tight. And this goes on over top. And take your little tool, push it into there. Take the tip that says 3 sixteenths, you put it inside the line, tighten this down, tighten it as tight as you can until it bottoms out. If you over tighten it, you'll I'll mash the tip of it. So now take this tip out. Get your flaring tool in there again. This time, tighten it down on the line there without without the fitting in there. Let's snug this down. Don't overdo it, but it does have to be fairly snug. your fitting. If it looks like it's squished enough, then you've done your job. And loosen it back up. And this one has a little release on it. I busted one wing nut. And when you're done, your tip should look something about like that. And then when your fitting comes up here, it should look very much the same as the other one that was already on there. So, that's how to use a flaring tool.